everyone, welcome here. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you for coming back and watching another video. So today's video is the next installment in the Things I No Longer Buy series. So I've already done videos on things I no longer buy in my kitchen and bedroom. And today we are talking about the bathroom. So we have 10 things to share with you today and they're really through both the lens of minimalism and sustainability. I consider myself a sustainable minimalist. One kind of begets the other and they're both important in my life. So some of the things on the list are more from a sustainability point of view and some are from more of a minimalist point of view. All right, with all that said, let's get started. The first thing that I no longer buy in my bathroom is shaving cream. I haven't used shaving cream in many years and I've tried all sorts of things to replace it. For a long time, I was just using soap, but that was really drying on my skin, especially because I live in the desert. I've also tried coconut oil and oils that are specifically formulated to shave your legs with. And while I liked those, they would clog my razor like crazy. I would have to do like two strokes with the razor and then rinse it out and then two more strokes. And it no, but recently I had this epiphany in the shower while I was conditioning my hair. And I was like, why don't I just use my conditioner bar, like my hair conditioner bar on my legs? And it worked so well. It's the perfect blend of it moisturizes my skin. It helps the razor glide really easily. It doesn't clog the razor up and it's one less product that I have to buy. And it sort of solves this lifelong problem that I've always had that my shampoo always runs out before my conditioner. But now since I also use my conditioner to shave, they run out at the same time. The second thing on the list are tissues. So typically I'll use one of our reusable paper towels for most things that I would use a tissue for. So like blowing my nose, maybe cleaning up my eye makeup a little bit. I'll just use one of those and then throw it in the washing machine. But in the rare case where maybe I'm like doing something really gross or I don't want to use a reusable paper towel, I'll also use toilet paper. So instead of buying a whole nother product that's going to clutter up my bathroom, but also takes resources and energy to produce, manufacture, package, ship, trying to repurpose things that I've already got in my house. The next thing on the list are duplicate shower products. Many moons ago, different lifetime ago, I am so guilty of this. I used to have a shower full of products. I liked to use a different body wash every day. I like to use different shampoos every day. I like to just try different products. And not only was it so wasteful, it was so cluttered in my shower. I had a shower at one point that had three shower caddies in it just to fit all the products that I wanted in my shower. Fast forward to the sustainable minimalist that I am today, and I have three things in the shower. A shampoo bar, a conditioner bar, and a bar of soap. These are all the things I really honestly need. And if I want to try different products, different shampoos, conditioners, I'll just wait till the one I have runs out and then buy something different and try that for a couple months or however long it lasts me. The fourth thing in my bathroom that I no longer buy are decorative towels and soaps. Do you ever walk into one of those bathrooms and you go to wash your hands and you're like, am I supposed to use this soap that's shaped like a shell or is this for decoration? And then you wash your hands and you go to dry your hands and you're like, am I supposed to get this towel wet or is this just for decoration? I want everything in my bathroom to be functional. I want it to be clear to anybody who comes over and uses my bathroom how they should wash and dry their hands. I'm all for having things in your home that make it feel beautiful, that are an expression of yourself, but not to the detriment of your guests. If it's confusing for your guests, maybe think about different ways you can decorate, you know? The fifth thing that I no longer buy in my bathroom is perfume. If you've been around this channel a while, you probably know that I don't like anything with fragrance in it. So it probably comes as no surprise that I don't wear perfume. From a minimalist perspective, it's just not something that adds value to my life. I don't feel like I really want it or need it. It's just not part of my personal style. But from a sustainability standpoint, a lot of perfume, especially big brand commercially produced perfume, is full of toxic chemicals. It's just not something that I want to be putting on my skin every day. It's not something that I want to be breathing in all day long. It's just not for me. Number six are face masks. I actually love a good face mask. I find a lot of value in putting something really hydrating, nourishing on your skin. But I have a DIY recipe for a face mask that I absolutely love. It's banana, avocado, and olive oil. You just mix that all together, put it on your face, 
and it's so hydrating, it's so plumping, I love it, it feels so good. And what I love about that is it saves me from buying another product for my bathroom and also consuming any of the plastic materials that come with any face masks, especially those sheet face masks that come in like single-use plastic bags and then you put it on your face and then you throw it away and it contains plastic. DIY from a sustainability standpoint is a much better option for that. And I'll put the recipe to the face mask in the description box down below and I would highly recommend it. Number seven are deodorizers. So I'm thinking here about like room sprays and potpourri and Glade plugins, all the things that you put in your bathroom because you poop in there and you don't want it to smell like poop. Now, I'm not over here saying that my poop doesn't stink. Everybody poops and everybody's poop smells. I don't wanna buy another product. I don't wanna put any fragrance in my bathroom. I don't wanna just like mask the smell with the smell of chemical flowers. So instead we have a clay pot that has a match striker on the bottom filled with matches in the bathroom. So if you didn't know, when you strike a match, whatever that compound is that it produces that smell, it completely covers the poop stink. It's miraculous. It works so well in getting rid of any odor and any stink in the bathroom. If you haven't tried it, I would highly recommend it. Speaking of smelly human things, number eight is deodorant. I don't wear deodorant. I don't think I smell. I've mentioned this in videos before. Here's the thing. I've tried probably all of the natural deodorants that there are to try and find a formula that worked for me. I spent years trying to find one that covered up the smell, but also didn't make my skin break out. And I just couldn't find one. So one day I was like, do I even have to wear deodorant? And I just stopped. And I've told you all about this before. And lots of you came for me in the comments being like, you may think you don't smell, but you actually smell, you just don't know it. First of all, maybe and that would be okay but second of all i've also put this through a rigorous testing system where i've recruited many loved ones to help me know if i smell and so far there's been a hundred percent consensus that no i do not smell so i say this not to say you should stop wearing deodorant but more to encourage you to evaluate the products you are using and whether or not you actually need them next up on the list of things i no longer buy in my bathroom is makeup remover just like the deodorant and the tissues and the shaving cream, it was one of those products where I was like, do I actually need a whole separate product just for this purpose? Or are there other things in my house that I could repurpose as a makeup remover? Or do I maybe not even need makeup remover at all? I don't wear a ton of makeup, but if I do have heavier makeup on one day, I will use coconut oil to take off my eye makeup. But mostly on a day-to-day -day basis, I can just rinse off what I'm wearing, which is usually mascara and concealer with just water. A lot of the times makeup remover comes in plastic packaging. If you use makeup remover wipes, those are almost always laced with plastic. So I find just coconut oil or a little warm water is all I really need to take my makeup off. Number 10 and the last thing on the list is mouthwash. I know there's a lot of great DIY mouthwash recipes out there. And I think that's fantastic from a sustainability standpoint. But the minimalist in me is like, do I even really need mouthwash? Technically, I just brushed and flossed my teeth. So wasn't I just washing my mouth? right? Adding tongue scraping to that and you've fully washed your mouth. I guess potentially people could like the super extra minty flavor they get from mouthwash, but you could also just like eat a breath mint or chew some gum or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing the point of mouthwash, but it's not something that I buy anymore. All right, that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for being here and watching. Please let me know in the comments down below if there's things that you no longer buy in your bathroom. I would love to hear. And if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. That would mean a lot to me. I put new videos out every Tuesday here on YouTube, but I'm over on my Instagram stories pretty much every other day of the week. So follow me over there and I will see you next time. Bye everyone. Are we recording? Wow. Don't buy it. What am I trying to say? Are there YouTubers who just like talk and don't mess up at all and then they don't have to edit anything? Probably. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> just say it. Okay.